Hallelujah. We glorify you. We glorify you, Lord. We magnify you in this place. You've given us, Father God, a peace on the inside so we don't have to hold on to any hurt. Lord, you have redeemed our life. Father, we can walk free from hurt, Father. Jesus, you've given us forgiveness on the inside of us, even as you gave us an example of forgiveness, Lord. We choose to walk in the Spirit, Father. Help us, Father. We thank you for your help, Father, in time of need. We can draw near, Lord, to your throne of grace and find that mercy and the help that we need. We come to you, Father. We look to you, Lord Jesus. We look to you, Father. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Father, for the restoration in our lives. Father, you are able to restore, Father, everything that the enemy has stolen. You restore it unto us, Father. Thank you for your restoration, Father. Thank you for the wonders, the signs and the wonders that follow us, God, even as we believe. You've promised us, Father, that even as we as we are believers, that these signs and these wonders shall follow them that believe. In your name, Father, we have authority to cast out demons. We have authority over sickness. We have authority over every circumstance. We thank you, Heavenly Father. We worship you. We magnify you. We magnify you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Forget not all his benefits. Thank you for your benefits, Lord. Thank you for redeeming our life. You've saved us, Father. Brought us out of darkness to your light. Oh God, you've given us a new name. We honor you, Jesus. We honor you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you for restoration. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for restoring the joy of our salvation. So, Lord, every day as we wake up, we have a joy to be alive. Joy knowing that you have saved us, Father, and given us an eternal life. Thank you for the joy that you've restored to us. We worship you. We honor you, Jesus. We give you our highest praise, Father. We give you all our praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. It's a good thing to praise the Lord. It's a good thing to know that God inhabits our praises. And it's a good thing to know that God has made us sons and daughters of the Most High. He has seated us together with Him in heavenly places. He took us out of the miry clay the position that we were in, the darkness, and He has elevated us and He has promoted us into His kingdom. God is a God of wonders. Be encouraged today that just the same way that God parted the Red Sea, even as Moses, He stretched out His hand and He parted the Red Sea, that the same God is able to open doors for you that no man can shut. Hallelujah. That's the God that we serve, a God who is able to do wonders. Ephesians 3.20 says, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly, more than we could ask, think, or imagine, according to the power that is working in us. We're going to rise up into our feet and we're going to start praising this Lord of wonders, the God who inhabits our praises, the God who is able to do more than we can even imagine. That's the kind of God that we serve. Aren't you thankful that we serve a God who does wonders? His miracles and wonders have never passed away. They're still here today because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Glory to God. Let's worship Him. And all of you joining us online, we're so glad that you're here today. We believe that today you will be encouraged and you will be strengthened and that the Lord will begin to speak to you and move in your heart. And that you will begin to say, yes, Father, I believe you are the God who opens doors that no man can shut. That's the God that we serve. So we pray you'll be encouraged and praise and worship the Lord along with us. Amen. Let's worship him. Lord of wonders.
that protect us, watching over us, Father, in ways that we go, when we come in, when we go out. We know, Father, that you've given us angels to protect us from all evil and danger that is in the world. We claim your promise, Father, that you watch over us. And even, Father God, when we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we know we will not fear any evil. For we know, God, that you will go before us your rod and your staff, they comfort us. Thank you, Father. There is nothing that we need to fear. There is no fear in love. The word says in 1 John 4, if you read that chapter, there's so much of hope that you get to be free from fear. Perfect love casts out all fear. Because fear has torment. We see that the enemy, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He brings, he always plants a seed. He plants a thought. And if we let that fear or whatever thoughts the enemy brings sit in our mind, it will start to grow and we'll start to meditate on it. And pretty soon that's what we become. But the word gives us this promise that perfect love casts out every fear. Every fear that is in the world, every virus that is in the world, Every anxiety, every situation that comes up against us, we don't need to fear it. There's no fear in His love. Just begin to meditate on that. No fear in God's love. Thank you, Lord. There's no fear in your love. Thank you for watching over us, Father. We lift up our eyes to you, Lord. Thank you, God. We lift up our eyes to you. We lift our eyes to you.
was from I lift my hands to the Lord of glory He watches over me I lift my eyes to the Lord Almighty That's where my Thank you, Lord, you do. You 
redeemed us from the curse so we don't need to be afraid of curses words that have been spoken you have authority over it by the blood of Jesus to command any kind of evil any situation has to come under your feet Jesus didn't say to talk about the mountain he said to command the mountain to be removed and the words he said is it shall obey you one of those keys in that verse is to not doubt in your heart when you speak. When you command a mountain or a situation, you got to say, no, I'm not going to give in to doubt in my heart. Jesus said, we will have whatsoever we say. So we can command situations. If it's confusion, any kind of evil, those are mountains that try to come and stand in front of us. But we got to say to those mountains, be removed and cast into the sea in the name of Jesus and it shall obey you. If you're facing a situation right now, when those of you watching us, you speak to those mountains. We don't have to beg God and get God to plead and try to move situations. We say in Jesus' name, mountain, be removed. Confusion, be removed in the name of Jesus and it shall be removed and refuse to doubt in your heart refuse to say well it might work well it might not but say in the name of Jesus I believe whatsoever I say I shall have it thank you father we speak to mountains to be removed in Jesus name right now thank you father for the healing power of God that is removing situations Deadly situations we command cancer, situations of cancer right now be removed in Jesus' name. God is healing you right now from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Those cancer cells have to be removed in Jesus' name. Yes, Jesus name. Don't believe the lie of the enemy that somehow at some age you will get that. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, the curse of every sickness. He's redeemed us. So we command those mountains to be removed. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your healing power. No evil shall come near us. Let's encourage one another and say, no evil, no evil can come near us. Come near God's, us. Angels God's angels surround and protect us. Surround and protect in, us. Jesus name. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.